Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, two days ago, a YouTuber named Trimix made a Season 3 Battle Pass, and we're going to be reacting to his Battle Pass. He actually designed like all the skins and everything. So big shout out to him. And before we get into the video, only 1% of you guys are subscribed, so make sure that if you're part of the 99% that you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So, at tier number one, we have the Engineer. So this is supposed to be Midas' sister, and she appeared in some loading screen, I think. Maybe in something in the item shop, I'm not exactly sure. But, um, she looks like a pretty solid skin. And then we have the Toolbox. It's pretty nice, it's like an ammo box. And in the background, you guys can hear this new, um, this new, like, song that they're gonna have in the lobby. It's called Beach Vibes. It's a pretty good song, I think they should add that a good track they should add that to um the season three battle pass and the gear axe looks like a pretty good pickaxe and we're just gonna be skipping we're not really gonna be talking about these like icons because nobody really cares about them and then we got the engineering background looks pretty good so this entire like first 10 are just engineering themed so this is the wheelbarrow emote it looks like a pretty good meme emote like if you could put somebody inside the wheelbarrow that'd be a pretty cool emote a lot of people would use that and skipping over to the next page, we got the robotic. Looks like the P1000, but it's Meow Skulls. And I don't know why the gingerbread is there. It seems pretty unnecessary. These are kind of weird uh, wraps. Don't really fit the theme. And then PewDiePie. I don't know how that fits into anything either. But um, the next one is the Meow Basher. Looks like a pretty good pickaxe. I would use this pickaxe personally. And then we got this emote which is it's an okay emo i probably would not use this one it just doesn't seem that interesting to me and then we got the m1000 so if i was making this battle pass i would definitely move the m1000 to the first tier and then maybe swap um the m1000 with the um engineer and then we got freestyle this is probably like the most funny track i've ever seen it's hilarious it's like just a bunch of henchmen rapping so i'd actually play this one in my lobby 24 7. So then we got Bad Dreams, pretty good skin, and then we got this rap battle, so it's like calling back to the previous season with all the henchmen, and I'm just gonna let you guys listen to the henchmen rapping, sounds pretty funny. So then we have this floating emote. It's it's an okay emote. I think it'd be pretty cool if it like worked on water and you can move around with it. That would be pretty cool. Since season three is supposed to be a fully water map. And I don't think it has that much music to it. So the next one is the pool floaty. I guess it's just a back fling. And then floats. Which is, he's an okay skin. He's like a decent skin. I put him as tier 1 along with the Meow Skulls. Because he doesn't really deserve to be this high in the battle pass. So then we got this track. It's an okay track. And of course we got some more V-Bucks. And then um, going with the Aquaman theme, which is probably going to come up later. We have the Mira, which is from Aquaman. And the Black Knight. And coming up is like one of the coolest skins, which is going to be the female back Black Knight. So this skin's supposed to be here for like people who missed out on Season 3, and of course the Knight skins are actually pretty cool. Like the Red Knight, and the Black Knight, and like the Frozen Red Knight. They've done so many different versions of them. So this is really, really cool that they added it back in. And the Black Knight is probably more like one of the best Knight skins, so it's pretty cool that they brought it back in a female version. So this is a very, very cool skin. So then we have the next one is Skulled Tanoke Wrap. And then of course we have this Aquaman, which is just telling you that we're in the Aquaman theme right now. So all the rewards will be a theme for Aquaman. And then Mira. So this is a pretty good skin, but they would probably end up moving this one up to tier 50 and then moving Aquaman as a secret skin because it's kind of unnecessary to put two skins in the same 10 tiers. They usually don't really do that. So then we have Trident, Atlantis, some pretty cool background. And then we have this wrap right over here. Which 
coming up next, Aquaman wrap, and it looks pretty good. I would use this wrap, it's like a golden wrap, kind of. And then we have the Trident, this is a pretty cool pickaxe, this is probably like one of the best pickaxes. Looks like a pretty good pickaxe, I'd use this one, definitely. And we have Aquaman, this is a pretty cool skin, but I think they'd probably put it as a secret battle pass skin, like Deadpool from this season, as a collaboration between DC and Marvel. So, in this battle pass there's only 50 items, they'd probably add a few more extra items, but that this is just the base, like 5 people. They'd probably add like one more person, move Mira up somewhere. So now, they're going to show you the secret battle pass skin, which is going to be the Visiator, which is just fish stick inside of a pretty cool suit. So this is definitely a really cool skin, but they'd probably end up putting it at like tier 50 in the battle pass, or tier 85, or whatever the second highest one is. So now, just showcasing the different music, so all you guys listen to Beach Vibes. So now I'm just going to speed it up for you guys so that you can see all the skins and all of their emotes. So again, I'd like to give a huge shout out to the maker of this battle pass, which was Tribix, and make sure you guys check out his channel and the original video on his channel. And make sure, if you guys like this video, to hit that like button and subscribe with notifications on to help us hit our goal of a thousand subscribers. Do it.